Well, hello, hello to all my lovely listeners out there and my single and whole gentlemen and gentle ladies. Welcome back to Get Married Whole, your go-to podcast for personal growth, love, and unity. I'm Rakia, your host and guide, and we're continuing our journey through Joyce Meyer's book, Hold on, 10 Ways to Stay Determined for Better Days. Today, we're diving into Chapter 7, Receiving the Love of Your Perfect Heavenly Father. In this chapter, Joyce Myers reminds us of the unconditional love and support we receive from a perfect Heavenly Father. No matter your relationship status, embracing this divine love can be transformative for your life and relationship. We'll explore how you can receive this love, let it fill your heart, and share it with others. So grab a nice beverage or your copy of the book, find a cozy spot, and let's explore together. Get Mary Whole is not just about advice. It's about embracing self-care, personal growth, and infusing every day with relationship magic. If you enjoy our podcast, please subscribe, rate, and leave a review to help us reach more listeners. And now on to chapter seven, receiving the love of your perfect heavenly father. I'll never forget the very first message I taught. As you can imagine, I was so excited about it. I had led home Bible studies, but this was my first speaking engagement and I wanted to kick it off with a bang. I remember praying and asking God, what do you want me to, what do you want me to teach about? The answer that God gave me wasn't exactly what I was expecting to hear. Tell my people I love them. At first I was confused. I thought that was the most basic thing someone could teach about. I wanted to reveal deep biblical truths, but God was telling me to teach about a simple topic. I thought, what? God, they know that. I'll never forget what God said to me in response. I heard him distinctly say, no, people don't know I love them. If they did, they'd act a lot differently than they do. The more I thought about it, the more I realized how true that was. If we knew how much God loved us, and if we decided to receive that love, we wouldn't freeze in fear when times get tough. The word of God says, perfect love casts out fear, 1 John 4 and 18. When we really get an understanding of God's unconditional love for us, we will worry less and not get stressed when someone talks badly about us or when we are faced with a difficult situation. The Bible says in Romans 8 and 31, if God is for us, who can be against us? Your mindsets, attitudes, words, and actions are all affected by your understanding of God's perfect, never-ending, unconditional love for you. It is the foundation for everything in life. If we knew how much God loved us, and if we decided to receive that love, we wouldn't freeze in fear when times get tough. God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. It took me quite a long time to really get an understanding and an appreciation of God's love for me. I spent an entire year, not a day, not a week, not a month, studying the love of God studying the love God has for me. I would remind myself each day, God loves me, God loves me, God loves me. I read every scripture on love I could find and I studied the love of God for the entire year. Now, it didn't happen overnight. It didn't even happen in the first few months. But toward the end of the year, all of a sudden, it was like somebody turned a light on in my spirit and I knew that I knew that I knew that God loved me. And from that day until now, the enemy has never been able to take that from me. God wants you to have that same understanding of his unconditional love for you. No challenge, no difficulty, nothing threatening, nothing impending, no amount of rejection, 
and no amount of trouble can separate you from the love God has for you. You may not understand everything that happens around you and there will be times when something may not seem fair, but you can always know this one thing, God loves you. You have to know that and receive that love deep in your spirit. It's not something you are going to get just because someone says in passing, God loves you, especially if you've been mistreated in the past and never really had an opportunity to know what love is. In the world, we think about love and acceptance through earning it and deserving it. People will treat us one way if we give them what they want and they'll treat us another way if we don't. Unfortunately, when often we often apply that earning love mentally to our relationship with God. The truth is that we can't earn God's love and we don't have to. Our right standing with God is not based on how many good deeds we can do. Jesus is our righteousness. He paid the penalty for our sins and his sacrifice gave us right standing with God. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. And Philippians 3 and 9 says, And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Conditional love that is found in the world may be based on your performance or what you can offer someone, but God's love for you is without limits or conditions. The foundation for everything in your life really is dependent on you having a deep, deep, deep knowing that God loves you and that he loves you unconditionally. It's not a transaction based on your perfection. There is never anything you can do that will ever make God stop loving you. Isn't that amazing to think about? God, the creator of the universe, all powerful, all knowing, created you in your mother's womb. See Psalms 139 and 13. And he knows every day of your life before one of them came to be. See Psalms 139 and 16. You are the apple of God's eye and he loves you unconditionally. People may have disappointed you or hurt you in the past, but you don't have to carry that pain into your relationship with God. People may have abandoned you or mistreated you, but God never will. He is your perfect heavenly father and his love for you is perfect too. If you feel like maybe you're stuck in a bad situation, if you feel like the challenge before you is too great, if you feel like giving up, in any area of your life, remember that God is with you and he loves you too much for you to settle for less than his best. Whether it takes you a week, a month, or a year like it did for me, read scriptures about God's love. Study every passage about God's love that you can find and remind yourself on a daily basis, God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. God is with you and he loves you too much for you to settle for less than his best. I'm going to say that one more time. Do I have your attention? God is with you and he loves you too much for you to settle for less than his best. Being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1 and 6. Well, that is good news. We have a additional assignment. We have to study the love of God. So be on the lookout for that series. I'm going to do that as well. If you're interested, definitely hit that subscribe button. Let me know so that you will get alerted when that session and those episodes come out. 
As we conclude this episode, remember that Get Mary Whole is here to support your journey to love, unity, and personal growth. We hope you found inspiration in the wisdom of Joyce Meyer's insights on receiving the love of your perfect heavenly father. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast to stay updated with more episodes focused on nurturing love, strengthening relationships, and fostering personal growth. You can also find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at the at sign, Get Married Whole. You can also hashtag Get Married Whole or just search Get Married Whole dot WordPress dot com. That's all spelled out. G-E-T-M-A-R-R-I-E-D-W-H-O-L-E. If you have questions, topics you like us to explore, or if you like to explore one-on-one coaching or our per- our programs, please reach out. We're here to support you on your journey. Thank you for being a big part and the best part of Get Mary Whole community. Remember, you are special, unique, and wonderfully made. And above all, you are the apple of God's eye. Embrace the love of your perfect heavenly father. And remember, it's everyday relationship magic. Until next time, stay blessed and stay whole. There's great love for you here. We are complete. Peace.